guys, I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a quilt as you go stocking. It will make great Christmas gifts, and you can make one stocking in just under an hour. So, what you need to make this is a quilt as you go stocking pack. This includes the batting for you to sew on, and it will make one stocking. You will need a jelly roll, some scissors, a basting spray or pins, this quick press seam roller will help you. We're stitching with Christmas figs too today for ours. And we did use some Kimberbell trim for the hanger and you just need some basic sewing thread. So let's get started. When you take your stocking out of the package, it's gonna be one big batting piece with A and B. So you're gonna take your pieces, you're gonna trim a quarter inch to half inch away from the edge of the outside of the stocking on both of them. Side A starts with one, and we're gonna be doing this in order, so it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's how you quilt as you go, which I'm gonna show you in detail. And on the back of your pattern, it tells you exactly what to cut. So I've already cut these down, you're gonna need eight fabrics for the front, which is side A, and eight fabrics for the back, which is side B. Everything is listed right here, so we've already cut this and we're ready to start our assembly. Then you're gonna take your lining fabric. We're just using a plain white. You're gonna put this down. You're going to have your stocking part A that you've already cut out, and we wanna spray base this down. So we're using June Taylor Quilt Basting Spray. We did starch this fabric in all of our strips because that is what the pattern says to do. So we did that before we started. Then you're gonna go to your sewing machine and stitch a quarter inch away on the inside of the outside line. That is very important for when we're gonna trim it down later. So we have this basted down. You can see the stitches on the other side. And we're going to take the fabric that we've already cut and starched, and we're gonna start with fabric one. So fabric one is in the center. And you wanna make sure that this fabric covers all the way to the edge and this edge. And you'll line it up right on this line between one and two. And then you're gonna take piece two. Piece one is right side up. Piece two is right side down. And you wanna make sure that when you flip it over that it's gonna meet here. So you can see that right here, it doesn't overlap here. So you need to go all the way down and make sure when you stitch, you can fold it back. So here I'm gonna put two pins in and you want to still be able to see this blue line on your stocking. We're gonna to go to our sewing machine and we're gonna stitch a quarter inch away from that line all the way across. So I'm gonna use my Sew Standard Seam Guide. I'm gonna put my needle in the quarter inch, drop that down, and you can see that you just need to add just a tiny bit to your foot to get that quarter inch seam. Of course, it doesn't have to be 100% accurate because we're gonna trim it down, but that just gives you a guide. We're gonna start stitching before and after the edge. And I'm using a 2.0 stitch length. So once you have that seam, you want to flip your fabrics and you don't want to iron this down because you don't want your batting to get distorted. So I'm going to use the quick press seam roller by Lori Holt. And that's going to keep it nice and flat. And then you're going to add number three. Again, doing the same thing, making sure when you flip this over 
that it covers. And you can see down here it does not cover. So you want to make sure that when you have it aligned, it's going to flip all the way over. So that looks about good. And we're going to do the same thing. Pin, stitch a quarter inch away from the blue line, and then we'll keep adding. So again, press it. Just get it nice and flat. And you can see that right here, kind of it's not all the way to the quarter inch. And right here, it's not all the way to the quarter inch. And that's okay. We're just going to adjust our quarter inch seam to be a little bit skinnier. And now you can keep adding to the top and the bottom at the same time. So I'm going to add four right sides together. And again, I'm going to make sure it covers and I'm going to pin that right on the line and I'll just do a smaller quarter inch seam. So here you can do four at the same time and you can do five at the same time. So I'll just pin both. Again, just making sure that it's going to cover. And I just line it up on the line and we're just gonna stitch and we're gonna do this entire step until Everything is covered through eight. At this point, you want to iron this nice and flat, which we already did, turn it over, and you saw your basting stitch that you made in the very beginning. We're going to trim a quarter inch away from that basting line. Using long, big scissors is very helpful for this. It will go much faster and smoother. This doesn't have to be exact. So this is your side A. You're going to do a side B using the same exact method. And when we made ours, you can see that we put different fabrics. So it's not matchy-matchy, so you can use it either way. You're going to put them right sides together. And they're not going to come out exactly the same, and that's okay. It's just a difference in printing, and it's not a big deal. You will want to use Wonder Clips to keep them in place and just line it up as close as possible. So I've got everything clipped together. You have your basting line right here. I don't wanna see the basting line, so I'm gonna stitch slightly to the left of it all the way across, and we're gonna stitch down all the way around 
leaving the top open and I will back stitch at the beginning and at the end. When you're finished, you can leave this as raw edge, or you can serge it, you can do a zigzag stitch, or you can use pinking shears to do a pink raw edge. I'm gonna just leave mine just like it is because I don't think anybody's looking inside my stocking. Then I'm gonna clip around the corners. This will just help it unfold later. Clip to your stitches, not through them, just on your curves. I'm doing the clips like every inch or so. It'll just help it fold nicely. Now we're gonna just fold this right sides out. Just put your hand all the way in. Just pull it out. And the beauty of this stocking is they don't have the lines for the jelly rolls to line up. So there's no seams to worry about and that's how it comes out so pretty. And that's why we did ours with different fabrics just so that it is all very scrappy. And we're gonna give it a nice press and then we're gonna add the top. Now all we have left is the top. I'm gonna take some pre-made ribbon by Kimberbell. I'm gonna cut it six inches, put the raw edges together and on the back seam, I'm gonna kind of press this open, put my ribbon right there, pin it in place. We're just gonna top stitch that down a couple of times on our sewing machine. So at the top, we're just gonna put standard quilt binding on the top, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna take a jelly roll strip that is left over. We used more of a solid one so it would really stand out. We press the fabrics wrong sides together, so we put those down. So you've put your fabrics wrong sides together and we're gonna wrap this around. What we want to do is on the back, we're gonna leave a tail. We're gonna start right here and on one edge, we're gonna just stitch this a quarter inch away from the top and we're gonna start right here. We're gonna go all the way around to right here and I'm gonna show you how to do that and how to join the strip together at the end. So we're gonna start at this edge and you've got a lot of bulk so I'm just gonna push this all the way out of the way and just keep that out of the way. And I'm gonna go a quarter inch from the edge just do a little bit and just keep adding and just keep moving the back out of the way. So it just takes a little bit of finagling. When you get to the side where you started, you're just gonna stitch a little bit, back stitch. And we're gonna have this opening right here that we're gonna close. Now we need to join these together. The first step is on the right side, I'm just gonna find a center, like kind of around the center of this right here. This is about the center. I'm gonna just trim this off. You can trim with scissors or a rotary cutter and then I'm gonna lay this down. I'm gonna overlap the second part on top. We started with a two and a half inch strip. So your math is whatever strip size you started with, so two and a half inches. So you're gonna mark two and a half inches past and I'm gonna put a line. 
And what we want to do is we want to cut at that line, but we want to cut a little bit past that line so it's not so wide. So I just take my ruler, put it on the two and a half, and I go up about a quarter inch. So I'm really cutting about two and a quarter inches. And now you're gonna put them together like this. You're gonna twist your left wrist clockwise. Just like that. You're gonna put a pin in place. I like to put a pin at the top, at the side. This is the hardest part of the stocking because you're gonna have so much bulk. I'm just gonna put as many pins as I can. I'm gonna do all four sides actually. You're gonna draw a line from the very top corner. Just wanna be able to see where it is. And the bottom corner. And use your ruler, draw a little line. This friction pin, the ink will disappear with the heat of the iron later. But we're generally gonna stitch on that line. On this, I lowered my stitch length to 1.5. And you'll just have to kind of move everything out of the way as you go. Now before you cut this, just make sure that this lies flat. Sometimes I do it the wrong direction. I'm gonna trim a quarter inch away from that stitched line. Now you can press this seam open if you would like, or you can press it to one side. I will try to press it open. Probably have to do one side here. And the other side here that will just make it lie nice and flat but you can press to one side if you would like so that is open I'm gonna just press this down and we're gonna go to the sewing machine and we're gonna start stitching before our previous stitches so we'll start about half inch before stitch all the way across this is where our ending stitches were, and we're going to stitch over that another half inches. So here's your binding. You're just going to fold this over towards the top. I'm going to give it like a little press right here. You don't have to, but I am. It makes it a little bit easier on the next step. I'm going to use Wonder Clips and fold this to the inside. Now you can hand bind this on the back using hand stitching or you can machine stitch it down. If you machine stitch it down, you want to make sure that it's not right here where your stitches are, it goes past because then your stitches on the front will cover the back. So that's what we're gonna do today is machine stitch. You can either use red thread to match or you can use white thread. We're just gonna use color 2000, which is kind of a cream color. So I like to use these wonder clips. They are wonderful and and we're gonna machine stitch this down. I'm also gonna start on the back and I'll start around the joining where we joined. I'm just gonna put my foot right on the left of this. So this foot will touch the edge of my fabric and I'm just gonna start stitching. I'll back stitch once or twice. I'm gonna put my stitch length at a 2.0 and I'm just gonna stitch around nice and slow. 
It's right on the edge. Stockings are so fun and addicting. You can make them for all of your friends and family. From one jelly roll, you can make four stockings and each quilt as you go pack will make one. There are so many jelly rolls to choose from that you can find one that will fit your friends and family. Make sure to subscribe to the Fat Quarter Shop YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.